Hey guys, I'm back again with another video. So, however, we're going to be doing the our usual yearly tech news and talk on for the upcoming Mac OS Sequoia iOS 18, as well as for the Office 2024 that's currently in the works. So, we're going to be starting off. Let's talk a little bit about Mac OS 15 Sequoia, which is the next major release to be the next. To be the successor of Mac OS 14 Sequoia. So with Mac OS 15, they're basically going to be adding some new AI features, which is kind of, which they're basically going to bring in Open AI's Chat GBT, which you'll see some Chat GBT integration in the next Mac OS. Although Apple is going to be changing up the system requirements, but there's going to be a few Intel based Macs that's going to be able to run Mac OS 15. So if we go, let's take a look at the compatibility for those of you who don't, who are wondering which Macs are going to be able to run it. Because Apple's slowly killing off their Intel based Macs for the Macs that are running their Apple Silicon's processor, so. Which will probably be announced sometime in September once the, the final release. And we're going to also look at. Go. Shit, look at. See. Browse on the Apple website of of all the new features that's going to be coming with the uh, Mac OS from their Mac OS 15 preview. Which we'll see some new revisions to the Notes app, which we will explore once we get Mac OS 15 when it comes out, fully comes out. We'll And you can also have the the new p feature for passwords, where you can basically have the autofill turned on. Where it, on your Windows, if you have a Windows, if you're using like any Apple software on your Windows PCs with through the iCloud service, which is going to be very neat. Although you're probably still gonna get like a verification code. And Apple's built in web browser Safari has some new features where you can browse specific locations on from certain websites that have like from business like business like websites. So let's look at the uh, the pre on the Apple website of the uh, Mac OS Sequoia preview, which Apple wants to step up their productivity game. And you will be able to get the iPhone notifications on your uh on your on the on your Mac if you got a uh, an iPhone and and it's all basically connected so you get and another cool feature that I, I see that's gonna be coming in to the new Mac OS and iOS 18 is you're gonna be able to drag and drop photos and videos or any particular files from that matter which is good which is, which you can basically somewhat do with the airdrop functionality and 
And you're also going to have some of them new AI features as well coming to iOS 18. So let's kind of dive into iOS 18 while Apple is currently working on the new iPhone 16 and the iPhone 16 Pro that's going to be built off of titanium as well oh, despite the fact you probably will see some col new color options as what well for the uh, iPhone 16 and 16 Pro which I'm personally I'm looking forward to the iPhone 16 Pro Max because you're going to see some new uh new customization feature that's like the main portion of the of iOS 18 if I can let me pull that link up let me pull go let's see cuz you could um customize the icons in iOS 18 and put the app icons in dark mode which is going to be pretty cool And I think you can do away with hiding the uh, the names of like the apps, and you could uh, lock specific apps if you don't want nobody going when they, when you have somebody in your messing with your phone, you don't want them tampering with specific apps that you don't want to allow that you want to keep that mainly for privacy reasons. But you could require your face ID or you could even hide apps which if you don't want people seeing the apps on your phone. Although they go although the control center is gonna be reworked. And you get to control, uh, change, adjust the apps and features that are on your action button with the uh, the new iOS 18 that's going to be coming out with the for the, if you have if an, if you have the Pro model iPhone 15. So, and for those of you who are waiting for the next version of Microsoft Office, Microsoft currently has a. Uh, Microsoft Office 2024 currently in the works. So there's going to be both a PC version as well as a Mac version. For those that want the standalone version like myself. So with that being said, I know in the next couple years that Microsoft is going to be discontinuing Microsoft Publisher for from their Microsoft Office suite mainly it's mainly only exclusive in the pro versions professional version of Microsoft Office for PC users which is going to be kind of a bummer for those that like to use Publisher for signs and flyers Well, although Microsoft is still trying to promote their 365 product line as well as their Copilot in Windows 11 which you're probably going to be seeing some more features coming to Windows 11 with the next major update so Hope you guys enjoyed this video and let me know what you guys think of the new iOS 18 and the new Mac OS Sequoia in Office 2024. So you can go ahead and leave them down in the comments and if you enjoyed this video, thanks for watching.